Okay, so this is me warping in. I didn't really know what to expect. The last Condor I had fought had kited me with a tracking disruptor and he would just, he stayed at around 7.5k and just kited me with rockets. So I originally, I was just going to warp out, I wasn't even going to fight him. But then I noticed he wasn't moving at all, so that a little bit confused me a little bit. I wanted to, this is me looking at what kind of rockets, if you had uh, long range or standard light missiles or rockets fitted. Um, and then he s continued to sit there while I wasn't doing anything, so I said, so I figured, okay, I'll just approach him and see what happens. I set my speed to three fourths and I turned on my micro warp drive, giving him maybe hope, letting him think that I'm not as fast as I am. and he was maybe waiting for me to get close enough to start orbiting me so I tried to time it so my micro warp drive would overload pulse and then I would full speed but he never decided to do anything like, until right now so I just ended up three volleying him he was a very I looked at his fit and he was very inexperienced pilot but this is just a simple clip on it's really more I wanted to show it because the speed, how I didn't start out with full speed, that can confuse a lot of people, especially who pe people who fly kite ships. It will um, knock them off a little bit, so they're not they're expecting it. And anytime you do something that's unexpected, they're gonna stop and think, and that could give you the time that you need to get the kill. Okay, so this was right after the fight with the Condor. I. Uh, I'd seen the Thrasher or the Federation Navy comment coming in on D scan, so I just I'm gonna let you watch the video and then I'm gonna go back and analyze parts of it later. So this is where I made my first mistake. I uh, My guns weren't firing at the very beginning, you can see. And it may be like two or three seconds, but that can really make a difference in the frig, in a frig fight. He, but I don't know why, he didn't start firing until maybe 10 seconds into the fight, and that got, let me get a lot of free damage onto him. And that's just one of the things I wanted to point out. The second thing I wanted to point out is how we conducted our ranges. I pressed keep at range because I didn't think I would be able to track him as well since he's in a frigate and I'm in a destroyer. So I wanted to make sure I was just as close as possible and he didn't get a good orbit. He did not try to orbit me and he just tried to keep at range and tried to approach directly away from me until right now he tried to orbit but by then it was too late. And then he made it even worse on himself and he tried to burn away and I ended up just getting the perfect, perfect transversal enough to kill him. And that was the end of the fight.